I've never seen a cemetery with enter at your own risk signage like this. And more signs of caution amongst the tombstones. And then there were goats. And I was like, we have to back up because I do not understand the vibe. But now I think I do. This is the historic Jersey City and Harsimus Cemetery, which was founded in 1829 in New Jersey and is kind of shaped like Ohio. According to this article by Luke Spencer, by 1894, this cemetery was already reported to have deplorable conditions. In 2001, the cemetery caretaker here had to be disciplined by the state for charging excessive burial fees, according to this article by Jason Fink. And if I understand correctly, in 2007, three of the cemetery's five directors died in that year, and then the cemetery's caretakers moved away, leaving it essentially abandoned. But then the good news starts, because in 2008, a volunteer group formed a volunteer board of trustees to preserve and protect this cemetery. According to their website, one of their goals is to achieve state and national preservation status for this historical site. And it really is a fascinating small cemetery. I used to live right near here and it kind of gets obscured by all these elevated highways and there's train tracks right nearby. Also, in this 2015 Atlas Obscura article, they talk about a former military bunker that is located within the cemetery and contains many fascinating objects, including multiple coffins that are still waiting for burial. Supposedly including a 19th century Viennese count who traveled to New York died, and then was never buried. I was doubting this, and then here's a picture taken by the writer in 2015 of the alleged coffin. Back to present times, here is that team of goats again who assists the cemetery with weed control. And they have a goat cello benefit concert to raise money for the cemetery. And this September, two of those cemetery goats went missing and were quickly found. There is a lot going on in Jersey City. <laughs> if you have ever volunteered at this cemetery or have any experience there, please let me know. I'm very interested. And a big thank you to the team of volunteers who are working to keep this cemetery open so that we all have access to it. That's not to be taken for granted and I'm sure is a lot of work. And finally, I wanted to show you these little gardens by the cemetery caretaker's house. This Jersey City cemetery did not hold back this September.